Hi there. In this recording, I'm going to talk about the sound patterns of language. We have today uh, some important terms. We have to know them all. Okay. We have, for example, phonology within this chapter. Phonology is defined as the study of the systems and patterns of speech sounds in languages. Every individual will pronounce sounds differently. This means that this individual has a physically different vocal tract. Okay, each one of us has his or her own what? Vocal tract or vocal cords. That's why we are we differ from one person to another in producing sounds. Okay? Then we have the term phonemes. Phoneme is the smallest meaning distinguishing sound unit in the abstract representing a uh, representation sorry of the sounds of a language or the smallest meaningless unit or sound in a language okay till now then we have to deal with uh, with what phones and allophones phone refers to a physically produced beat sound representing one version of a phoneme as for allophone refers to what it refers to when all a closely related set of speech sounds or phones for example the sound t okay the t sound in the word tar tar is normally pronounced with a stronger buff with what a stronger buff of a than is present in the T sound in the word star, star. Okay, see the difference? We have the two words, for example, the first one tar, and the second one is star. Okay? The the T sound in the word tar is normally produced with a stronger buff of air than is present in what? In the T sound in the word star. Okay? So T in the first word, in the first word is stronger than t in the second word which is included within the word star then you have to know about the term aspiration aspiration is above of a that sometimes combines the pronunciation of a stop sound okay nasalization refers to a process of pronouncing a, a sound with air flowing through the nose, typically before a nasal consonant. This is a subtle difference in the pronunciation of E in the word seat, for example, and seen. In the second word seen, the effect of the nasal consonant, ne, makes the E sound nasalized. Okay? We can represent this nasalization with a small mark, as you can see in the file, with a small mark called child t-i-l-d-e over the symbol e in a narrow phonetic transcription so there are at least two phones e and a used to realize a single phony they are both called what allophones of e in english then you have to deal with what minimal pairs and says minimal pair these are what two or more words that are identical in form except one phoneme in the same position in each word for example we have two words like bad mat bad mat okay or we have fun versus van fan van bet but side 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 okay these are examples of english minimal pairs okay you have to be careful about this one minimal set based on the vowel phonemes of english could include for example feet fit fat fate foot foot okay these different words are laid within minimal pairs and another minimal set based on consonant phonemes could have, for example, big, pick, 
Rick Fick Dick Wick okay you have to know all these words the differences between these words okay you have to be careful about such words then we have an important term which is what formal tactics concentrates on the Persimable, allowable combination of sounds in a language. We cannot construct words like these, for example. We have to deal with words correctly. We cannot uh, change the pattern of uh, a word as we wish, okay? For example, F S L G, if we combine this like a word, we couldn't, okay? Because this sequence of or arrangement of letters are not allowed in English okay so we have to be careful in writing our words then we have what syllables and clusters syllable refers to a unit of sound consisting of a vowel and optional consonant before or after the vowel itself and the syllable is divided into what we have onset onset refers to the part of the syllable before the vowel then we have rhyme the part of the syllable containing the vowel plus any following consonant for example uh, uh, it is also called rhyme then we have nucleus nucleus refers to the vowel in the inner syllable okay coda 